in all the years of interviewing people who are famous, I would have to say that the interview with Lisa Marie Presley was one of the most interesting I've ever had. And I just really sat down with her thinking, all right, let's find a way in and find out who's there. Who's there inside the picture, the facade of, of Lisa Marie Presley? I can honestly say I interview a lot of celebrities, but I am not fascinated by celebrities. I am fascinated by your life. And for the, the truth of the matter is, I never call up people or ask them to never. <laughs> I mean, I have people who book people and they call people. And over the years, I, if somebody says they don't want to do the show, fine with me. You don't have to do it. <laughs> um, but when you guys were on the cover of Vogue, I wrote a, a letter to uh, Lisa Marie and Priscilla and asking would they b b agree to come on and talk about their lives because I do think it's really fascinating because everybody knows I grew up poor, not even poor, po. Mm -hmm. I grew up. <laughs> so what's fascinating to me is before you even know who you are, the world has an idea of who you should be. Right. And how does that affect your growing up? You know, thankfully, that hasn't been that difficult, thanks to my parents, thanks to my mother um, as well. Uh, she was very adamant on having me raised as normal as possible, and I don't feel like I was that exposed or had the eye on me so much when I was growing up, thank God. Um, mm -hmm. Woo! <laughs> yeah. I could see from the beginning she was a little guarded, and in order to pre penetrate somebody's guardedness, I always then talk about myself. I always find a that's my root in, is to relate something that's happened to me, to let them know that I've also been in the same position or to make a connection in some way. That's my root in. And I, there, was a, there was a moment when I could see that she knew that, that, that there was a, just a, just a ticking where we connected and she was then willing to give it up. I could feel that that happened. And that's why the hour disappeared, and it was just like two people sitting right here in my own living room talking. Yes. What has been for you, uh, who has been written about since before you were born, the most hurtful, most hurtful and untrue? I mean, they've gone from that I tried to kill myself to that I'm 800 pounds to, you know, what really pissed me off was this last Don't run. Don't you love it when? Uh, wait, 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 you know, don't you love it when, okay, so you're, you've gained some weight, and then they just would, like, come up with a number that is just so ridiculous. You want to say, would you just get the number right? Would you not? Right. You exactly. Know? No, I know you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> because, I mean, uh, you know, honestly, okay, I'm 5'2". I put, like, 10, 15 pounds on. I'm 180 pounds. At one point, they actually took a car, my car, out of a photo and made my dress and my face as big as a car. And it was on the cover. And I was sitting there going, how can you actually doctor this and get away with this? Yeah. So that? That? You were saying something really pissed you off. That pissed me off. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and now I'm all pissed off and I forgot why. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No, we were talking about most hurtful. So the weight stuff, was that really the most? Yeah, no, that, it wasn't so much the weight thing, because they love that. They're so honed in on that right now. It's, it's yeah. sick and pathetic, and I hate it. And yeah. Weight and marriage. That's yeah. all they care about, and cellulite. They care about and that, too. Yeah. <laughs> You've been married, what, three times? Yes. And have gone on the record as saying that... Uh, Uh-oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> we're going there. Yeah, I saw it. I yeah, saw it. Yeah, 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 we're going there. <laughs> that marriage to Michael Jackson, that your marriage was for real? Yes. And that you were in love with him? Yes. All of that is true? Yes. And looking back on that experience, what do you say to yourself when you look at that period in your life? Um, holy mother of God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no, that's a good start. Yeah. Holy mother of God. I love honesty. I just, <laughs> I love it. And so Michael Jackson is calling, and your first impression was? My first impression was that he um, went very much out of his way to uh, disillusion me or deprogram me of any 
previous ideas I might have had of him. At, at that time, you know, the way that he did that looped me into, oh my God, you poor misunderstood soul. And I have a very soft sort of help thing with people and I became friends with him. And I was still very vulnerable, I have to say. I'd been married and had a baby by the time I was 21 and hadn't really been out there much and didn't know a whole hell of a lot. Mm -hmm. And fell into something in this naive way of like, I want to save your soul, I want to help you. And I'm already kind of, you know, enamored and sort of snowed already in my own mind. Mm -hmm. I'm already like, he's already pulled me in by making me feel like I'm the one he talks to. Yeah. How do you get from that to I do? <laughs> nice. <laughs> I do. I how mean, do I get, do. How do you get from anywhere to I do sometimes, mm -hmm. you know? And, and for whatever reason in my life, I had to go through that. You, you said you loved him. Yes. Do you think he loved you? Wow. Um, yeah, thank you. Um, <laughs> um, God, it's hard for me to, to answer that question. I don't know um, the answer to that, to be honest you. Do you, with you. think that he loved you as much as he could? Yes. That, yes. As much as he was capable of loving somebody um, and all that, yes. Do you think he used you? Oprah? Miss Oprah. <laughs> <laughs> this seat is hot, let me tell you. <laughs> all of the signs point to yes on that. Um, can't answer for him. So at some point you woke up and you said what? Just enough. You know, I just had enough. and. Um, so what did that teach you, that encounter, that experience with Michael Jackson? God, so much, because it took me a good two years to come out of that, you know, and I mean physically, mentally. I really had to, um, I went through a lot to, to remove myself out of that. And from doing that, I probably learned a lot about being naive and stupid. And um, my help, you know, my urge to help people, which is huge, which is why I admire you so much. Um, Thank you. On that. You're like Mama Moses. <laughs> <laughs> Mama Moses, okay. Let's move on to Nicolas Cage. Okay, you're married to Nicolas for 108 days. Right. How is it you date for two years? You date for two years. Were, was it volatile during the two years? Were you um, guys... Pretty much. Pretty, yeah. pretty much. Yeah. But yeah. even though it's volatile, you say, I do. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you think that that was a person that you were going to grow old with? No. OK. <laughs> you didn't? No, you know, I'm that just was wondering, one of those. Are you, when you marry, are you marrying for, you know, people like, oh, I want to grow, sit on the porch with you and all that? I didn't think like that when I got married. You did I was caught up in some whirlwindy sort of, you know, idea, romantic You're idea at the time. Thank you. OK, good. Thank you. <laughs> Um, so is it true that there was just a fight? He just, they're not a fight, but an, a disagreement, or argument or whatever. And uh, he said, okay, I'm gonna get a divorce. And then he did. Mm -hmm. That is true. Yes. And but so how did you feel about that? I was upset, anyway. Um... <laughs> <laughs> it was like, even though there was an audience of people, I don't remember a commercial break. Did we take one? And. I've never had an hour fly by so quickly. I thought she was, I was genuinely interested and fascinated by what she had to say because I think she's a person who has grown up in what is the closest to royalty that we have in this, this country. There is so much you haven't heard today. All new part two. I was, I was just chatting it up with Lisa Marie. It was my first time interviewing her, and I, I was so fascinated that we really ran out of time. Please welcome. Really connected to her as a human being, as a person, as a self. I'm always there trying to get to the self, and really liked her. Really liked her. One of the most interesting celebrity interviews I've ever had. It was great.